deeply shocking body cam footage shows the moment a former little worker who plotted a mass murder at his former school was shot by police fearing for their lives after he pointed a gun at them. This is the disturbing footage. Please. I'm, I'm, you know, the, the difference is what people close as police officers. You know, commit crime. Yeah. Oh, it's, 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 Which one's the toilet, Reed? Really? <laughs> This is the one, the weapon that you referred to in your first interview. Yeah, that that's shot. that's the pride and joy. That's the pride and joy. Yeah. Okay. Um, Why is it your pride and joy? Because it's the first one. First one you made, yeah. <laughs> so is this pure fantasy, Reed, or is this something that at some point was going to snap in your head? <coughs> I'm not saying that you could have done all of this, but is this something that you think you were going to do at some point? No. Because when you read it, and it's in black and white, bearing in mind it's a school attack, bearing in mind it's an attack on police headquarters, and bearing in mind what we've seen from your address, it's absolutely terrifying. So, no and, comment. So you still standing by? <laughs> this is just fantasy. fantasy. Yes. Reed wish using carefully built homemade firearms and explosives in a bid to carry out a hitman style frenzy attack. Targeting 10 people, including ex classmates and teachers at Priory School in Wall, Somerset, while disguised as a police officer. The 32 year old, who had an obsession with serial killers and lone gunmen, including Dunblane murderer Thomas Hamilton and Raoul Mould, also intended to attack Avon and Somerset Police Headquarters. The 32-year-old was jailed for life at Bristol Crown Court after being convicted of a series of weapons, ammunition and explosive charges. The former Lidl warehouse worker wrote down his plans in a 1700-word document he dubbed Revenge the Court Heard. He amassed an arsenal of homemade weapons including pistols, submachine guns and a shotgun, together with ammunition, bombs, grenades and poison. But the plot was thwarted after police raided the home he shared with his father in Wick Street, Lawrence, Somerset, on the 28th of November last year, following a tip-off about weapons. Police body cam footage showed how officers were forced to shoot the suspect after he pointed a handgun at them as the property was searched. Moments earlier, he attempted to shoot himself in the head in the bathroom before running downstairs to confront officers. While he was calm and controlled during the incident, officers feared for their lives and were left traumatised, the court heard. In victim impact statements, one officer described having reoccurring nightmares, while another revealed how they struggle to get past the point of having to shoot someone. One colleague said, The instant makes you realise how fragile life can be. It is something that will never leave me. Officers gave first aid to the suspect, which, together with a blood transfusion, 
saved his life, the cart heard. Passing sentence, Judge Martin Picton said only a life sentence was appropriate and ruled the suspect must serve a minimum of 12 years beyond bars before being considered for parole. A jury convicted the defendant of having an explosive substance with intent to endanger life, possessing a firearm with intent to endanger life, possessing ammunition with intent to endanger life, and possession a prohibited firearm without a certificate. Judge Picton directed the jury to find the defendant guilty of an eighth charge of having an explosive substance. Please like this video, please comment, and I would love it if you could subscribe to my crime channel. Thank you.